So which one should you choose, the sheep or the Oron sandals? Welcome back to my channel, The You in Fashion. My name's Megan. On my channel, we discuss fashion, luxury, handbags, and lifestyle, where I hope to help you find The You in Fashion. So we made it back from Puerto Rico. It was so beautiful. We had such a good time. But I know you guys have been waiting for this video of the sheep versus the Oran comparison. And I felt like there wasn't a better time to do it than coming back from Puerto Rico because I took both of these shoes with me. I got a chance to wear them for a good amount of time to really compare them side by side so I could give you guys a good review video and a good comparison video. With that being said, I am taking this very seriously. We are taking a deep dive into both of these shoes. So hopefully you guys walk away from this video knowing which one of these sandals you feel like you would be more interested in purchasing or if you already have one of them if you feel like a second pair of the other sandal would be worth it so let's go ahead and get started first of all we're just going to take a look at each one of the shoes separately so as we know the sheep sandals here are a thicker sandal it is considered to be the hermes dad sandal and it is supposed to be one of their trendier styles so it does size here is how you would size it up or down. As I said in the previous video, not by much though. Pretty much how you have it set is gonna about be how it fits your foot. It also has the H for Hermes right there, which is also a little giving, but definitely I would not consider to be adjustable. You have the Hermes written right there. You have the thicker sole for the sheep sandal. Then for the Oran sandal, these are obviously going to be a thinner sandal. They do have a little bit, I guess I would call it almost like a short heel, but you don't feel that at all. It also has the same H there that's not very giving, but also not very tight. It does have a little bit of padding here with the Hermes written there. Also something with the sheep sandal, it does have a little bit of indentations for your toes where the Orans do not have that and I do have the older version of the Orans which are these that has the two separate leathers that separate it so you almost have a little ridge right there if you can see that in the camera and then let me show you guys my white ones my white ones here are the newer version and they do not have that separation or the ridge there it's just one piece of leather all the way down so i know that some people were really excited to not have that little ridge there anymore and then we're going to do a little side by side so there is the front of both of the shoes here is side by side of both of the shoes and here is the back of both of these shoes. Now, as you can see here, this one does have a bit of a lip where this one is pretty even. There's no real lip back there at all. And then this one is a 35, this one is a 34 and a half. We'll kind of line them up side by side there. And there's a pretty big comparison gap between the 34 and a half and the 35 in these. So a little bit of views of both, a little bit of side-by-side -side comparison of both. Let's go ahead and move into pricing. I just looked this price up today. The Orans is going to be about $660 and then your sheep sandals are going to be about $710. So about a $50 difference in both of these shoes. Now we'll go ahead and move on to the try-ons. I wanted to make sure I tried both of these on for you. So you're going to see the front. I walk in these for you to see how my foot fits in each of these. You're going to see the sides, the backs, a little bit of side by side comparison of each of these. I also wanted to pull out my Birkenstocks for these because I really wanted you guys to see kind of a little bit of the size comparison of my Birkenstocks, which I have in the size 34, opposed to my sheep sandals that I have in the size 35, because I know that those will be easier to get your hands on to try a pair of Birkenstocks and maybe it'll help you a little bit if you're unable to try on the sheep sandals to get an idea maybe of what would be your 
your best size. One of the reasons I really wanted to pull my Birkenstocks out is because I feel like we are consistently comparing the sheep sandals to the Birkenstocks and I want to point out here one of my last viewers mentioned you can't compare something that costs this price point to something that costs this price point and I completely agree I'm not trying to do that here I'm just really trying to help you guys figure out what size is best for you because I know that sizing is really, really, really difficult in the sheep sandals and predominantly because they are not as available to us in the Iran sandals to try. So I'm so thankful to you guys and your comments because it helps me connect with you guys better. And I wanted to just point out here, I'm not saying like, oh, you should buy the Birkenstocks over the sheep sandals because I know that that's not the comparison. I'm really pointing this out for sizing. But moving on with that. So as you guys know, when I purchased the sheep sandals in the 35, I hadn't got a chance to try them on just yet and to be honest I would go with my true to size in these which is a size 34 and a half now with my Birkenstocks as I said I got a 34 because they don't have half sizes and I feel like these fit great but if you're a little bit nervous you're unable to try them on and you don't want to go a whole half a size down from your normal size I feel like your regular size if you're a half size would be perfect or even if you're like a true 35 I would stick with whatever your true to size is if you go up a little bit I'm really concerned that they'll be a little bit too big as I feel like mine are just a teensy too big now one thing I also with further research noticed is that a lot of people are saying that when you go up half of a size or even a whole size in these if you're trying to get away from that lip there this also is a little bit looser on your foot where I found that to be true where with my Oran sandals I don't ever have an issue with feeling like my feet are going to slip out of the shoe and I think that's because I got my the size I truly needed. I could have probably gone down to a 34 but I'm afraid that my heel would have been hanging off just a little bit especially on my right foot which is my larger foot. So I would say true to size in the Orans as well. I hope that that helps as far as sizing comparison on these and helping you guys figure out what size to go with in case you're unable able to try these on but obviously best case scenario is they have them available in your size and you can try them on moving on to pros and cons and within that maybe which one I would recommend choosing which is the answer to the question I posed at the beginning of this video let's get down to that information so with the sheep sandals as you guys know in my first impressions I wore them to work for eight hours and I filmed that video after wearing these for a full day of work and the reason is I wanted to give you guys a good idea about them. So best advice for these is pros. They are pretty comfortable in the footbed here. Cons are going to be that they do scratch against your foot just a little bit or in my particular case they do but not so much that as I'm wearing them it's really uncomfortable. I was able to get through an eight hour shift with them and even while I was in Puerto Rico I was able to walk around a little bit without any issue. Now with that being said would I take these to Puerto Rico and plan to go on a tour where you're going to be walking non-stop for hours? Hours? Absolutely not. But in all fairness, would I do that with my Orans either? No, I would not do a tour in these shoes. Now, are they comfortable for an eight hour day? Absolutely. I would dare to say honestly more comfortable than my sheep sandals if I'm being honest. I feel like they hug my foot a little bit better, which makes them more comfortable for me to wear throughout a work day. And I've worn these and my white pair to work many of times, many of days with no problems and my feet don't hurt at the end of the day at all. Second question you gotta ask yourself when deciding which one to get is do you want to go more with a classic style? They are going to keep making these over and over and over again and in different variations over and over and over again. Or do you wanna go with something a little bit more trendy like the sheep sandals or the dad sandal style that we're seeing? Now, I do love these. I feel like they fit perfectly within that trend. I do not own any other designer sandals with that dad sandal trend because I felt like prior to this point my Birkenstocks did the job but I'm glad that I got these and I think that if you're looking to kind of elevate that more casual style the sheep sandals are the way to go for that. 
coming up to that third point as far as casual versus a little bit more dressy. For your sheep sandals, they are definitely going to be more of a casual choice. So when we got to Puerto Rico, I saw a lot, a lot, a lot of Birkenstocks and the sheep sandals kind of fit into that. They're going to be very beachy, very casual. Where your Oran sandals are definitely going to be able to be worn casually, but they can also be dressed up a little bit too. I really like seeing these with like a nice summer dress, especially in some of the colors. I think they're just absolutely beautiful. So I feel like they can be worn a little bit whether you're going dressy or whether you're going casual, which is nice and you can use them for more options in my opinion. One thing I also wanted to point out here is the stitching. So of course the black Orans do have the contrast stitching is what they call that, meaning that the color here is different than the actual color of the sandal, where with the sheep sandal you don't have that. So if you are looking for a black sandal but you don't want that contrast stitching, you want all of the tonal stitching, so the black stitching to match the color of the sandal, the sheep would be the choice in that case. As far as price Pricing for both of these shoes, I wouldn't let that detour you one way or another. The reason is it's only a $50 price difference, so it really is according to what you like. If you want something a little bit more multifunctional, a little bit more classic, go with the Oran sandals. If you want something a little bit more trendy, a little bit of the here and now, or you're a very casual dresser, go with the sheep sandals. Last pros and cons we're gonna go in here is availability. So if you're looking for a shoe that is a little bit more readily available, should have more color range, should have more availability for you to be able to try it on in store, I would definitely go with the Oran sandals in that case. If you're asking me though, what would be the very, very first sandal I would purchase from the brand, it's going to be the Oran sandals hands down. I told you guys in the last video, even after owning these a couple weeks, which I wanted to, and that's why I really wanted to wait to film this video until after I went on my trip and got a chance to really experience both of them, I would still choose my Oran sandals first if you're looking for the very first pair of Hermes sandals to purchase. I bought this up earlier, you guys, and I never really touched on whether it bothered me that this one had the little lip there and this one is just a full piece of leather. And the answer is no. I tried them on again throughout the vacation just to get an idea. You feel that just a little bit, but they've done a pretty good job of making it fairly flesh to where it's not bothersome, I would say. So if you are on the pre-loved market and you find a pair of Iran sandals, that you notice are maybe one of the older generations, I wouldn't let that detour me, especially if you find them for a good deal. I also wanted to summarize here in the video, I hope you got the information for sizing that you needed as well. I would say go true to size if you have to. I think half a size up or half a size down would work, but I think true to size is the best route for you to go in both of these sandals. Anyway, you guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I answered some of those questions for you. I hope this brings you closer if you were thinking about getting one of these pairs of figuring out which one may be the best for you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.